The first issue is the Del Rio sector of the Mexican border is out of control. We all see the 15,000 people under the bridge, but what is the consequence of that? What is the consequence of having two months in a row of over 200,000 people show up at the border? The Border Patrol has to get off the border. They have to shuffle around people from the Del Rio section to the El Paso section or to the Laredo section. They have to take care of all of the unaccompanied minors coming in here. And when they do that, they cannot guard the border. Things are out of control. Not only are the agents in that area not able to focus on the area, but things are such a disaster, we're having to bring agents off the northern border to make up for the huge problems on the southern border. What happens? We wind up in a situation which not only are there more gotaways, people aren't even being processed crossing the border, but we also have a situation which more drugs are coming off the border. And the American public still hasn't been told enough that in the last year, we've had over 90,000 people die of drug overdoses, largely from phenofibrate coming across the Mexican border. And that's what happens when you have 224 miles barely monitored. The Haitians are being brought here or encouraged to come here by the drug gangs. And why are they able to do this? It didn't happen by coincidence that you saw all these people under the bridge the last week and they weren't over there a month ago. The Biden administration has extended the temporary protective status, status for people coming here from Haiti. And when they changed this process, it was a recruiting tool for the gangs who want more people to come here. And I'm going to emphasize, Haiti's not a very nice country, but these people are not coming from Haiti. They're coming here from Chile. They're coming here from Brazil. They're coming here from Venezuela. And why are they coming from these other countries? It's not because they're in danger in Chile and Brazil. They're coming here because they can make more money here, and the drug cartel gangs are explaining that to them. These gangs are charging these Haitians at least $50,000 a person to come here, which is the reason why they are so involved in this. Meanwhile, where is the president? Where is our moderate Joe Biden? Where is Kamala Harris, the expert on the border, as we have this disaster going on at the southern border, out of control, people going from the United States to Mexico, back Mexico to the United States? Wake up, press corps, and find out how much money are the gangs making on this? Why are we processing over 200,000 people at the southern border for two months in a row. Things we haven't seen for over 20 years. No wonder that some of the press corps, the irresponsible press corps, and no wonder Joe Biden wants to focus on vaccine mandates because focusing on man vaccine mandates takes our eyes off the border that is out of control. It is up to Congress to step forward, have some more committee hearings on this, do something, bring some bills to the floor. I know there's going to be a CR coming through. There's going to be a, a bill to break the debt ceiling coming through. Please, Mr. President, please, Ms. Speaker, give us some more Border Patrol agents to deal with our empty border. That is the first thing all Americans should be concerned about. You should be asking your congressman, should you, you should be asking your senator, what are you doing? What are you doing to prevent 200,000 people from showing up at the border? What are you doing when over 200 miles of the Mexican border is left to a degree unguarded? What are you doing? Are you at all concerned about the 90,000 people who died in the last year of illegal drug use primarily fentanyl flowing across the southern border. What are you doing about all the people coming from the other countries? And remember, you did not see all these people under the bridge two or three months ago. Why? Again, it's not just a random thing. It is because a change in the temporary protective status extended by President Biden, which results in the huge mess that we have.